Hey boys and girls. Well, it's time for part three of the evaporator coil pull, cleaning, and reinstall. So today we're going to braze the thing back in. You'll notice I repeatedly over and over say the word weld. I know, it's a bad habit. I'm actually brazing, as we all know, so uh, don't, uh, don't hit me too hard on it. <laughs> um, I used two video cameras when I did the whole thing. I had uh, one stationary, I actually have an SLR camera that I use mostly for pictures, but um, I was trying that in video mode, and it was a good stable piece, and then I used my phone, which I'm using now, to do most of the video. So most of the video is actually going to be used with the phone. So I have um, some bits cut in and out, so if it seems like stuff sequenced a little odd, it's just that I was trying to piece the two together and save you the misery of watching me braze for, you know, a long period of time. Uh, save you the trouble of watching me uh, actually go through the leak test and then going back and fixing my one little spot that I missed. But it's in there that, uh, you know, I show you missing it. So anyway, um, the only thing different is I probably should have showed the actual soap bubbles on the leak. But uh, it was kind of hard to see with the camera, so... I didn't really leave it in there. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. At the end, when we have the coil in, you will see part of uh, a filter base, which I'm building around the coil. And that will be the next video. Uh, I already have all the footage done for it. Just a matter of sitting down and editing it out, and I'll get it published up. And I um, actually have quite a few other things lined up. Um, trying to remember what all I have. I, I've given you a list before. And I should probably keep it handy. <laughs> but uh, so we'll get this published out hopefully today. I'm not sure if I'll get the filter base done this week or not. I may be going to Houston for a few days, but um, hope you enjoy the video. And as usual, uh, thanks for watching. Sam, we're going to try and get the coil in here. Is I'm going to attempt, attempt. <laughs> to get the coil in there without <laughs> knocking out the board that he just put up. So... Just see if it'll place before you go turn that in if you want. And right. we'll pull the bottom cover off and line it up here in a second. Voila. Sweet. Nice it does fit. Yay! Yay! With no problems. No problems. Sweet. Alright, sweet, sweet, so sweet, the sweet, next sweet. part is cool. Next part the we'll, welding. Yep. We'll get uh, you all that pulled off. I'll get that cleaned up and we'll prep for the weld and uh, go from there. All right, Mikey could not stress enough that he had to put <laughs> the metal tape over the pipes to protect it from debris falling in. Now, the downside to that is that it later. takes 20 <laughs> minutes to get the tape off and is slowing the process of this project. Yeah, the only only upside is it's cold outside and we're not in a 150 degree attic. Yeah, that's the plus side, and it's not in the middle of summer. Yeah. All right, he is fitting the couplings to see if it fits yeah, without ruining our box. That's a little. One's low, one's high. Something's fishy. So. That's a little better. Let's see. Okay. You're, yeah, you in pull my, the... you're in my light. <laughs> okay, he's got the couplings on. And that little yellow board is the outside siding for the addition we added onto his house. And it's uh, cement, so it's making a, another purpose today. This is our fire proofing for the day. <laughs>
Now, we're going to do something else, boys and girls. We're going to pretend I have gloves on, and we're going to pretend that I have uh, protective goggles on. Um, yeah, yeah. Where, where are your goggles, by the way? Uh, I have a pair right here. Well, you should wear them. Uh, you're right, I should. If I can get... Uh, actually, I have a pair of uh, better goggles than that. I have a pair of safety glasses. Right, that's a... On All right, he is back, and he has officially got some safety glasses on, per my request. Per his request. Um, he does not safety. have gloves on, but if he burns himself, it'll be funny to me, so. <laughs> uh, well, my catch is here. Let's see. Leg space. Get a little pressure on there. A little bit warmer. No, it's been a while. So. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely for the welding project of yours that is How much does it cost to fill one of those tanks? Uh, you know, I don't remember. Yeah, my welding is ugly. This part I hate is trying to weld from behind. Welding from the bottom up where you can't see, and then welding from behind where you can't see. And Sizzling all. Pretty good. Can't really tell. Is that what's sizzling? Yeah. Oh. You know, I could have sworn that was coffee brewing. <laughs> yep, I, mean, I got a spot back there on this too. Dang it. It's art. It is, and I'm not an artist. <laughs> So what's the deal with the uh, cool towels? Huh? Just trying to keep that fitting from from overheating, so that the seal and the uh, thing doesn't melt. Yeah, you don't you don't want to overheat the fitting. 
Uh, it's got like a little rubber seal in there. Or not rubber, it's made of silicone. I don't know what it's made out of. So, um, I can't remember what's made out of. But, uh, That, does that um, have lead in it? No, this is a uh, lead and this is no, this is just silver solder. It's like um, I'm not sure what the the other mixture is. It's like oh, I can't remember if it's six. It's a high percentage of actual silver, and then I think they use a tin type metal mix in it. But there's no lead in it. Uh, there's no. Um, the problem with a lot of the stuff that they use. Um, for softer materials is, uh, or for, for like regular copper pipe soldering is that they're, they're soft so that you don't have to use as much temperature. But they break easier. But they, yeah, the, they'll blow out. They don't harden as well as, uh, as the silver does. So, I mean, I've heard stories of people uh, trying to do, trying to do their own uh, welding on HVAC stuff and use a uh, plumber solder and uh, it blows right out. The small ones heat up a lot easier and quicker. These are a lot, a lot easier to do as far as filling these in. The only thing you have to be careful with these is uh, not to get them too hot. Because then they drip. Yeah, that and if you get it too hot, you can actually melt a hole in it real, real quick. And, uh, let's see, if we're lucky, we'll get that in one pass. Okay, at this point Mike has already welded the first and he is attempting to weld the second one. We have, uh, yeah, we have the first, first coupling done down here. Hopefully, ugly welds, but uh, <laughs> and I'm checking the second one to see if I have any obvious uh, spots that I've missed on the solder. But uh, my mirror is not cooperating. A little these little plate mirrors they scratch up so easy. So we will uh, put a little nitrogen in it and mix up some soap bubbles real quick because I forgot to do that earlier. And we will uh, test to see if we have any leaks. And uh, hopefully we won't have to do any more welding. Okay, most of the welding done. I put some soap bubbles on it, and I have a leak. Not on the back, but on the front, right on the corner, where uh, I didn't quite catch it. So, you get that sealed up, and then hopefully, round two will be uh, the miracle worker. I didn't turn anything off down here, so usually that uh, uh, doesn't jinx it, but can't win every time. Alrighty, all of our leaks are settled out, but uh, our wells are finished, looking good. And uh, Sam has been surfing a little bit while I've been finishing this up. Now I have uh, the equipment outside going, but uh, while well, it's pulling a nice, hard, long, long vacuum, I'm going to uh, get with Sam and we're going to start working on putting the rest of the filter base set up for the top. Alrighty, let me back out a little bit here. We go. We've got quite a bit done. 
and uh, Sam is about ready to go home for the day. We still, uh, I didn't decide on a filter size, so we had the coil in place, everything's welded in place. The uh, drain line's been set, all the leaks have been set, and I still have my vacuum pump going outside, so I probably should go out there and check on that. It's been running about half an hour, an hour, <laughs> hopefully. And uh, so I need to put the face cover on the front end, decide what size filter I'm going to use so I can put a sub lip all the way around and uh, start putting that together. But that is where we're at right now.